Hey everyone, I am here with my friend Clifford. You may recognize him as Clifford the Big Red Dog, although he's not so big today. But Clifford, you have a movie coming out today, don't you? He's not much of a talker, he's not. But he does, Clifford the Big Red Dog the movie is in theaters today as well as on Paramount Plus streaming for you to enjoy and view. And in the meantime, I have the Clifford the Big Red Dog, the movie graphic novel. It's based off the movie. And like I said, it's a graphic novel, so all fun pictures. I thought we could read a little excerpt out of it together. Maybe Clifford will grow a little bit in the meantime. <laughs> Let's get it started. In New York City, I thought it was just a stray, but then I saw the puppies. Thanks for calling. These puppies will be more comfortable at the shelter. Bang! Shut up! Don't be frightened, little fella. You're among friends here. Just remember, even scary beginnings can have a bright future. I'm back in Harlem. I know it's important. I wouldn't want to ask unless... No, I understand. I'll figure it out. Okay, thanks. Emily, how was school? Somewhere between absimal and atrocious. So you know, bad. I know it's hard being the new kid at school. Are those girls still bothering you? It's mostly just one girl, Florence. She calls me food stamp because I'm at school on a scholarship. You're different from the kids at school. That's good. People who are unique are the ones who change the world. Ain't that the truth, mama. <laughs> but did you talk to your boss about the Chicago thing? Apparently, the trial has moved up two weeks. I'm the only paralegal who, mom, sweetheart, if it were up to me, I would never, ever miss your birthday, but it's just a few days, and then we'll have the best belated birthday dinner ever. Is dad still coming to visit? We've been divorced three years. He, has he ever missed your birthday? I'm sorry, Uncle Casey is the only one who can stay with you while I'm gone. I tried to find another sitter. A few days with a guy who thinks M&Ms are a vegetable? Can't wait. I'm really sorry, Emily. Good luck collecting cans from the fundraiser. Sniff, <laughs> sniff, sniff. Get out of here, you little runt. Honk. Ah, there you are. Lost, I see. Well, that doesn't make you any less of a treasure. Woof, woof. Standing up for yourself. Good show. Come along. Let's introduce you to the others. That's quite a red coat you have there. You don't see many dogs this color. I'd say there's something special about, about you. The next morning, Emily walks with her uncle to school. I can't believe how many people are awake at this hour. Wanna get a coffee? I'm 12 on Aunt Uncle Casey. I can't drink coffee. Red Bull? We're gonna do something super cool for your birthday. Anything you want? Money's no object, as long as your mom left enough of it in the kitchen drawer. You don't have to worry about my birthday. I looked on my mom's Facebook account. My dad's planning a surprise for me this weekend. He was asking people for fun, idea fun things to do with kids. Wow, he's really putting up all the stops. That doesn't sound like him at all. Look! An animal rescue. Can we go in, please? My instinct is, sure. So we probably shouldn't. <laughs> Ugh, I can't say no to that face. Plus, they might have some free coffee. Splendid backpack, we match. Cool. Bridewell's the name. Welcome to my tetanus animalist rescue us. Is that land, Latin for animal rescue? No, it's just regular words with us at the end. It makes me sound smartest. <laughs> now, what sort of creature are you interested in? An inquisitive tortoise? A temperamental piglet? 
Sorry, but we're not looking for an animal. I want all of them. Perfect. The best time to look for an animal is when you're not looking for one. Oh my gosh. He's so tiny. How big will he get? That depends, doesn't it? On what? Why, on how much you love him, of course. I think he may have lost his family. Oh no, I'll be your family, little guy. Okay, adorable. Now please put him back. Please, Uncle Casey. Sorry, but there's no way I'm supposed to be responsible, Casey, now, remember? And letting you get a micro dog is not responsible. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to crush my niece's dreams. I've always wanted to know what it feels like to be the bad guy. Come on, Emily. You're going to be late for school. So I hope you enjoyed the little excerpt from Clifford the Big Red Dog graphic novel. Did you enjoy it, Clifford? Still not much of a talker. Clifford the Big Red Dog is playing at the theaters and on Paramount Plus streaming today, November 10th. See it, I did. Check out the link below is my review. And until next time, say bye. Bye, Clifford. Say bye, Clifford.